Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. As well as a great life. We are here with Neil Young, no longer on Spotify, but we are watching the music video on YouTube. Which is an exciting freaking time. I know, I know, I know. Because we haven't, for one, watched a music video in general on the channel in a hot minute. I'm sure we've done it at some point, but not in recent history, nor have we hit Neil Young recently. And this was one on a freaking poll about for fall vibes. I know. Harvest, Harvest Moon. Moon. This seems to fit very nicely. Dude, I'm just really excited. So uh, thank you for being here on the Merch Friday. Hope you're wearing your merch as we don't always do, but we are today. And uh, yeah, what in the poll? Let's do it. Hey guys, the video in fact did get blocked. So like always, we will have it on Patreon for free for anybody who wants to see the entire uncut reaction. Link for that will be in the pinned comment as well as in the description. And if you just want our commentary for after the song, uh, then that will be right here in this video. Enjoy. I uh, wholeheartedly did not connect with that. Oh, really? In almost any way. Dang, do you think the video almost made it like worse yes. for you? Yeah, I actually halfway through, after I was like, man, I don't mind the song. I realized I think the video fucked it up for me. Really? A hundred percent. Is it because of him mouthing the harmonica? That was just one aspect way, way in the deep end where I was already like, I'm not swimming very well. <laughs> so the video was not helping you? Yeah, I think, um, which sucks because I'll say this. As far as a, a, a Neil Young song, this felt like a, a different thing than we normally hear from him. For one, it's, it's a really low uh, love song. It doesn't have a huge amount of dynamic range, which I think normally I'd be down to listen to. But I think whatever the era the music video was shot in or the way it was shot, I just like it made any connection for me with the song. And I was trying to parse the two apart, but it was really hard to be quite frank. Uh -huh. uh, for one, it felt like it was shot like a uh, Cracker Barrel commercial oh my a God. little bit. Okay. And then two, all of the musicians looked the least into it possible, except for the bass player who looked like he was like at a high school reunion dance. And so he looked like too into it from a different reason. And that might just be me being way too anal about specific things that happened to bother me. But that's why it was just a lot. I'll tell you what. I loved the song. <laughs> it I thought it was awesome. I, I wish that I could see the past. And the I, I wasn't like, I'm not going to say like I was vibing super hard with the video, but I was vibing with it. I, I was like, oh, this is sweet. Like, this is nice. Cause usually like, I don't know what his songs are about. Typically like cowgirl in the mm. sand. I mean, I guess Cowgirl in the Sand. I don't know. Like yeah. Cinnamon Girl. I mean, I guess he sings about girls a lot. I, I, I don't know. This it, did, it, felt, it felt different. This felt like a different. Yeah, it felt, it felt different, which I really liked. And it felt just kind of like sweet and authentic, which Agreed. I thought was cute. You know, and he was singing all soft and nice. Like, and it's like he was trying super hard. He was just kind of like letting it out, which I thought was cool. I thought the little, little, little guitar, like the lap steel. It, yeah, I thought that was dope. I thought the little like little acoustic riffy thing like itself was just like cute sounding, almost like reminds me of like America, like Ventura Highway or, or kind of vibes like <laughs> yeah. very light. Drums are really tight. Overall, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it felt like it dragged at a certain point, but we're also two dudes sitting in a shack together. So mm. I think a song like this would probably start to drag around the four minute mark or something. Yeah, I think it's like a five minute song or something. There was nothing but, that stood out to me as bad in the song. Um and, and there was a, a couple times I really almost wanted to close my eyes just to hear it mm -hmm. because something about the visuals being with it, like I said, I just want to be honest, it made it hard to connect with, yeah. but the music itself I thought was good. Like yeah. the vocals I think were cool. The lyrics that I heard were cool. I think it's a awesome the sauce kind of song a little bit because I was closing my yeah. eyes and definitely getting I into it close my eyes, and then, and then I would open my eyes and I would, I would go like right back to a, like some diner in Georgia. I should have trusted my gut. I should have trusted my Because you feel almost bad for closing your eyes. Like, There's a video on the screen, and it's like, it's not nice to not consume it when it's like yeah. there, I guess. But it's like... I wonder if I'm the only one who has that reaction to this music video. Probably not. I mean, there's 89 million people who viewed it, so it's like if I a showed, subsect of people. If I showed, you know, Kayleen this video, she would for sure think it's probably like the same level of corny that you did or whatever. Or okay. not, she'd pro very similarly not connect with it, whereas she might, if I just casually played it in a car and didn't say anything and mm. just played it, she might like it. But like, okay. if, I, if like, hey, watch this video, she'd for sure be like, why are you showing me this? It's probably I'd true. I'd be like, babe, it's a sweet, heartfelt song. It's like, no. <laughs> probably true. <laughs> Dang, uh, I almost feel bad rating it. I, I actually, I'm going to say I'm not going to rate this song. I'll do it on the recap whenever we do the recap. Really? But I just don't feel like I don't feel I feel like whatever I would rate it is probably lower than I would rate it if I just listened to the song yeah. like by a letter grade, maybe two. 
<laughs> and so I just need a proper amount of time to like <laughs> privately reflect on that because also again there was nothing that I heard in the song that I didn't love it did drag a little bit at a certain point um it was kind of monotone in, in a way but I, I dug it I was there for it I, I think the way that it kind of played around like a dance floor feel which is again what it was showing was almost like capturing a moment in time that you don't want to end like you want it you almost want it to be that uh, almost too long mm -hmm. so that you could stay in there for longer like you're milking every second of it you know yeah yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense i mean it does feel like a very prime kind of fall song where it feels extremely wholesome like you could go on like a, a walk like, like this could be the backing track of you and your family are having a picnic with yeah, or like sipping like and stuff freaking apple cider on the front porch. It's like you can see mm. the leaves turning color. Like there's a lot that I feel like I'll picture privately in an intimate moment with myself or somebody else that I just didn't that not viewing the music video kind of like almost put it in this different frame for me. Mm -hmm. So um, I can see that you're free to rate it. Would you like to rate it? Um, I think I think it's an A song. Yeah, I think so. I, I I think the music video also for me like makes it like hard. Like I like I agree with you in terms of like it made it harder. Like when I closed my eyes, it instantly elevated it like massively. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really good song. I think it's cool to see in his repertoire. So I'm I'm gonna give it like a solid A. Okay, I think. Sweet. Well, let us know what we need to do next from them. Happy Friday. Sorry that the video fucked me up so bad. But like it did, so that's what happens sometimes. Um, I will definitely do my due diligence, listen to it after this, maybe even make a post on like the community page or on Instagram or something talking about it. Um, I just, you know, I don't want to give it a, a grade. What if, what that if I don't it think ruins I'm... it for you like just forever? And then, then, and then like, what if like you're like sixty and you and you don't, you still don't like it, but you don't even know if it's because of the video or not, and you're just not even sure. That's the Lord's decision, you know. Anyway, I'll take it in stride. Period. So uh, with that being said, we'll catch you next video. Peace. See ya. Thank you.